a standout high school athlete with the hopes of a collegiate scholarship, but then an injury. While heartbreaking for athletes, our next guest, Natasha Marangoli, may have been injured, but she's back out there playing. That's because of Dr. Locks and Sports and Regenerative Medicine Centers. Thank you both so much for coming in today. I got to say, I love Natasha's story here, Dr. Locks. And this is only one example of all the different people you treat with stem cells. Well, thank you. Talk about the process. Talk about what you're able to do and how you're able to help people like Natasha get back out there. Well, uh, Natasha uh, had a problem called avascular necrosis, which is a, a, the blood flow uh, to the bone is disrupted, usually after an injury, and a portion of the bone dies. So you have a necrotic dead part of the bone. And traditional medicine in the past hasn't known what to do with it. So they end up replacing a hip, if it's a hip joint or a knee, um, in her case, it was her ankle, so they wanted to fuse her ankle. Um, and these aren't good options for younger patients to have fusions or, or joint replacements because of the wear out. But obviously, in Natasha's case, at 14, fusing her ankle, she's never going to play soccer again, and you don't wear high heels. So the surgeons don't look at the, the things as a, a, a human being, which are quite important. So um, um, I've had a lot of avascular necrosis patients from around the world, so I have a lot of experience with treating it. I will say, Natasha, getting that, that diagnosis, hearing what was wrong with your ankle, I mean, I'm assuming that you thought that your playing days were, were possibly over. Yeah, all the doctors that I talked to said the same thing, that I had to get ankle fusion surgery and that I wouldn't be able to play soccer again. So talk about getting treated from Dr. Locks. What was the process like for you as a patient? It was scary because being 14 years old. Well, yeah, but yeah, I would say it was scary. 14 years old, it was completely scary. Um, but she did very well. I was well. going to say, but I know there's a big butt coming. Yeah. Yeah. Athletes typically are very stoic and, and there wasn't much of a peep out of her. She did well. And so obviously a lot better than being able to, to fuse your ankle, correct? And, and oh. being able to get out there and play again. When did you start noticing like, hey, I'm going to be able to get back out on that soccer field? Right before freshman year soccer season. And I might want to point out too, you also did end up getting that scholarship, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. And, and I'd like to point out, as we were saying, uh, um, how simple it was. She walked out of my office. There's no crutches. There's really? there's no pain pills. There's no downtime. She walked in, walked out. So it, it is simple. And I'm curious if, if the bone was, was dead, as you put it earlier, how is it that stem cells were able to kind of awaken that bone and, and make it come alive again, for a, <laughs> lack of a better term? Well, stem cells are very sophisticated cells, and they can do a lot of things. Um, they have. Uh, surface receptors that read environments and they're very sophisticated. One of the things they can do is suppress uh, inflammatory reactions um, and in arthritis they read the chemical signals and stop the signals that are breaking it down which is one of the um, great um, tragedies of avascular necrosis is the bone crumbles and the joint becomes rapidly arthritic, so you want to stop that. And then stem cells are also capable of differentiating, turning into a new cell type. So they can replace a dead bone cell with a, a new bone cell. Um, that is harder in avascular necrosis. You need to have them uh, early on, uh, and a good patient who's younger does a lot better because um, they have great stem cells. So there's a lot of factors that go into this, and, and because I've treated so many patients from around the world, uh, uh, they're not all the same, but my expertise helps in this regard. Um, but, but I do believe uh, we caught her early. She's young. She's in great health, and so all the factors were there for her to do well. And uh, her x-rays are one of the most fascinating cases that uh, uh, her MRI w showed a clear portion of dead bone and then progressively over the years with repeat MRIs, the, the, the latest one this year was read as completely normal. 
Well, doctor, you've mentioned too, you treat all sorts of patients, not just athletes. So I think that's very important to point out there. And so if you want more information on what Dr. Locks, how he can probably help you, we'll go ahead and visit his website, give him a call. You can get a consultation from him. And again, he treats everybody as individuals to find out your best needs. Thank you again so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.